Hello everyone. I'm getting ready to leave for the, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right, Monve Fair. And it's in County Galway. And I thought maybe you might be interested to see what's in the spinning basket, in my spinning basket that I take with me when I'm going spinning because we have a lot of beautiful fibers from Irish dyers um, and some Irish alpaca and some Irish wool. Um, hold on, I'll switch the camera around and I will show you. Okay, uh, first of all, you may have seen a little vlog I did yesterday about the beautiful handwoven baskets I got at the Ennis Market. And so this is going to be my new traveling spinning basket. And oh, first off, so whenever I go spinning, I definitely take a few things with me to help me. And these are 100% Irish alpaca natural color um, wrist warmers, which are just so good when you're doing something like that if you have a bit of arthritis, etc. And these were made by Sabine of Back to the Source. So they're in my basket. And then I have two extra bobbins for my wheel. Let's see. And so here are some of the fibers. Now, this is from Savannah of Savannah, or Savvy like that. And she lived in Ireland. She's just moved to Canada. So I got this while she was still here. So I'm really going to miss her because I think she, her color sense, I love. I'm not usually really kind of a light color person, but I adore these. This is one of hers over there too. So anyway, she's got an Etsy shop. Savvy like that. So you can check her out. She's based in Canada now. But um, so this is Pansy. Um, and, and it's organic merino. So I have this to spin up. And then at Irish Fiber Crafters, we carry um, Grace O'Neill's. So she's an Irish dyer, indie dyer. And um, also you probably know her as Babbles Traveling Yarns. That's her podcast and her dye dyeing brand so she dyes um yarn and fiber to sell and we carry some of her items she has an etsy shop as well but so i got this one from her i can't remember which wool this is because i took off the label i got um a couple of these um braids and this is one i spun up earlier that's part of that and then also in here i have so orange is one of my, I love all the colors, but I especially love orange. I'll be careful here now, I've stuffed things in. This is another one from Savvy like that. And this is a Polworth, which is a lovely sheep breed. And then another Irish indie dyer, and also she does dyes yarn. I've on, anyways, is uh, Eve Chambers Textiles. And so I've got a braid of hers that's kind of blowing out a bit. It's not quite, it's a bit deeper than that. It's actually nicer than it's looking there. So I've got a braid of her fiber. And then also I have a bunch of the purebred rare breed clone forest wool that I process myself. I washed, uh, I think I might have showed you this before it's got little bits of straw etc in it still but that's fine and that's from Susanna's Farms Wartables Ireland and then I have some uh, alpaca that's been carded I carded it and it's a little bit darker than that but it does have a little bit of that lovely kind of silvery sheen to it and this is Irish alpaca from Hilltop Hilltop Farm and this alpaca's name is was Cly is I mean he's still alive obviously Clyro there's a bit of fiber in there or veg matter and that's that's my little basket of tricks and I'm gonna spin from this one first today I believe I probably won't get to the rest but I thought I'd just bring them along in case so that's what's in my spinning basket there we go focusing hope you enjoyed that <laughs>